Carlita? Okay. Well, once again, we are coming to you again on our 10 minute talk as we always come on again. It's Qualita, I'm here with my hat incognito, but thank you all for joining us. I'm Qualita, Qualana, and Moya. Qualana looks like she is ready for the NFL draft. Raise it up, loving hey. it. <laughs> all right. I got this from gobasa.com, of course. Awesome, and it says queen. Yes, of course. Okay, I'm gonna have to cop one of those guys. Ooh, I should have the uh, black stuff right here to let them know I'm for real. Yes, you about should. What? I don't know what's happening. For real yeah. about everything, the football, the, the draft. They can okay. hear you if you don't. <laughs> they can still hear you. <laughs> so our topic today is, do women actually feel they are smarter than men? I mean, that's, that's really, um, I'm gonna go first okay. because with that question, um, it's like a twofold because to me, you're smarter than who you think you are. I mean, actually <laughs> you're not really trying to compete with anybody, but yourself, you shouldn't try and compete with anybody, but yourself. So if you feel that you're smarter than the next person, remember the Bible always says there's nothing new up under the sun. So there's someone out there always smarter than you, has more money than you, richer than you, poorer than you. So to me, it's like, don't complain about what you have. There isn't somebody out there that looks better than you. You know, it's always somebody that looks worse or better or whatever, but you got to feel how you have to feel within yourself. So let me answer the question. Do I feel women are smarter than men? Um, I'm going to say sometimes, but you know, I know a lot of people will say, I can't believe she said that. But you know, like I said, women and men, anybody could be equal because you could read the same book. You know what I'm saying? Now, God made us all different for a reason. Mm -hmm. He made us all different for a reason. You know, um, and with him making us different for a reason, to me, he put certain things in a man that he didn't put in a woman. Okay. So you have to look at it that way. So can I truly say, you know, men are smarter than women or women are smarter than men? I don't know. You got to ask God. That's my end. And I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Okay, well, um, to me, that's a general statement. Are all women smarter than men, even though it doesn't say all women? But that's a general statement to me. Um, I don't think anybody is, is any one gender is smarter than the next gender. Um, I think there is history and her story just as well in the same. So I think that um, one thing that we should do is try to work together instead of try to compete, especially in our um, race. I think we should try to work together instead of trying to compete. Um, so, you know, we don't have to say my gender is better than yours and my gender is X, Y, and Z. Let's just work together and build from that. So I think the question, let's actually see what the question is. Because I think it's worded it differently. Well, okay. no, we did say, do women feel they are smarter than some men? And um, I think we wanted to ask whether women feel, or people in general feel that they are um, different or on a different level than some men, or does that cause you to act a certain way towards some men? And yes, I believe that, I don't, feel that uh well women are from venus and men are from mars we know that right that's what they say mm -hmm. but generally speaking i think we process things differently and that kind of makes us see things differently like men think a certain way i don't know how men think and women think a different way sometimes a woman 
um, rationalizes or uses logic in a different way than a man would and applies that to different situations. So I think we are just created differently and we are um, created to work together to fulfill purposes sometimes. So I don't feel that women feel that we're smarter than men. I think we just feel that we're different and we process things differently. And we look at things differently, causing us to maybe feel that, well, I could do this better. On the other hand, he could do this better. So it's not that we feel that we're smarter. It's just maybe that we're different. So let's see what the people are talking about. <laughs> so the people aren't talking right now but we are so um this can generally come from different places um people can feel that they're out of other person's leagues because or um not want to talk to someone based on appearance and that's not necessarily saying that i feel like i'm better than you it's just i live a different lifestyle than you and we would have no compatibility from that point so it's not that I'm different or better or smarter. It's that, I mean, it is that I'm different. I'm not better or smarter, just different. And we are just incompatible. So it's not that someone is putting someone else down and they feel that they are um, better once again. I just may not be compatible and I may see that already. And why would you want someone that feels they're incompatible with you? From the start, it's not gonna be a good foundation because they're gonna want something different. I agree, I agree. I mean, um, you can educate yourself to be smart in different areas of your life. Uh, you know, there's a lot of books out there. Uh, YouTube gives you so much knowledge, you know. So, you know, you can just create a, a wealth of knowledge and smartness on your own just reading picking up a book, reading something and learning. So exactly. Yeah. So Akira said social conditioning, centuries of it is the issue. And we try to come together based on two different types of psychological separation. Exactly. That's exactly what I was trying to say. So he summarized summarized what I was saying. We are just we just process things differently. So it's not that one is better or someone is smarter than the other. It's just that we're different and we're created to process things differently because why would you want to be the same? That's no right. fun. That is so true. Nobody is better than the next person. No, yeah. no man, no woman, no female, no cat and dog. I mean, women and women, you know, some women might feel I'm smarter than you, you know, just be you. That's the main focus. Be you. Don't let anyone belittle you in any old type of way. Because no one is perfect. So that's the right. first. No one is perfect. We all have some hurdles to jump, some cross to bear. Is that the way I want to say yeah, it? Yeah, that's what you want to say. Um, we all have some mountains to climb. So <laughs> don't let anybody feel that you are less than they are and they are above you. No matter how much money they make, no matter what car they drive, no matter the job title. Nobody job is, title. you can, you, you have to be the best you that you can be. Nobody That's is like true. Moya, nobody's like Carolina, nobody's like Carlita. So right. we're all uniquely made for a reason. And each day is actually a day to recreate yourself. Like today I'm Queen 07. What you think about that? So T and Honey says men and women process things differently. The general consensus is that men lead with logic and women lead with emotion. See, I didn't want to say that, but she said it. Because I don't know if it's, you know. She said it. Give her her credit. <laughs> but this isn't necessarily true. See, that's the caveat right there. I find that some men are intimidated by women who are intelligent and logical. Yeah, that's true. That's and Akira true. said, with the mental acceptance that we're mentally and spiritually different, starting based on physicality, we should want to be at least spiritually the same. Exactly. And find ways to mentally unify. That's that's, exactly that was right. a good one right there. That was a good point. Yeah. So... Yeah, uh, men and women definitely are different. We definitely process things differently. Like T and Honey said, uh, men may think more logically than we think. We think women are using their emotions rather in some instances. And obviously we need both of those in certain situations. So everybody has something to give to the, to the world. You right. know what I mean? Right. But I do think that you should educate yourself, even if you 
you think that you are the smartest person, you still got to educate yourself um, overall because we don't want to perish because of lack of knowledge. So right. every day you should try to educate yourself um, and just try to do better. Every day you wake up, you got another day to educate yourself and to educate others because everybody can bring something to the table that uh, nobody probably would have thought of. I don't know. But um, yeah, all of us are unique. So we can all learn from each other. I right. mean, there's a show, Are You Smarter Than a Fourth Grader? I mean, fifth grader, some right? of those fifth graders, look, fifth grader. Some of those questions might sting even adults. So, I mean, just and they do. Like, they actually know. do. Um, and then they have to, you know, say that line, I'm not smarter than fifth graders. So, yeah, some of those questions, they right. do actually, you know, his adults. Yeah, definitely. I definitely think this was a much needed topic to discuss. And I definitely think our next topic might be very big. Um, Moya posted today whether a woman seeking um, an increased child support because of her child's father marrying a woman who's actually a millionaire, is that the proper thing to do? Well, I mean, do you see that as was right? Should she get an increased child support based on the income of the spouse. Now, I will say as a caveat, mm. in many states, it doesn't even work like that. It works based on the um, parent's income. So there's many different models of how states actually uh, account for child support or come up with child support. And they take only the parents. They don't take necessarily the spouses anyway. So many states don't do familial um, income, combined income. They just do the parental obligation because logically speaking, you only are uh, obligated, you're obligated to pay for your child, you and the other person who created it, not even a spouse. So if you think of the purpose of that, because a lot of people wouldn't actually get married if they too had to be obligated to pay for someone else's child, a lot of people would be hindered like thinking. So a lot of states don't even do that to begin with. But just in a hypothetical scenario, and there may be some states that do actually do it. And there's different factors that go into how uh, income is calculated. And one being you coming up with, are you using your taxes? So if you file as a joint household, maybe that's a factor in increasing child support. But if you file, if you're married and file separately, hey, sometimes it won't be calculated. You're just basing it off of your own income. So um, if you just think about it, take your take don't make it personal but if you think about it um it's the parents responsibility to take care of the child so many courts just calculate the parents income no matter if they're married to someone or not so that's going to be an interesting discussion that's going to be fun mm -hmm. and many people are in that situation many people marry other people with children so mm -hmm. we can talk about that next week though we yes. don't get uh, more into it next week so yes a Tuesday. So we are excited. And, and that's, that. that's one more thing, too, though. No one is better than anyone, regardless of whether they have children or not. That's so, so right. That's right. Uh, <laughs> so what makes one not actually better is if you don't take care of your kids. So, right. Yes. That's that a big no no. A bullseye. Yes. So, yeah, that's a stinker. <laughs> right. So, next week, we're going to get into some fun stuff. This week, we're closing out and saying thank you all for joining us. It's been lovely. It's been amazing. Remember to build a sister, build a brother, be brilliant, build better, and build both. Bye. Bye.